Hey, what's up guys, Slattern here, and today we're going to be covering the Beastmaster Hunter for patch 7.2.5. In this guide, I'm going to be covering the talents, stats, base rotation, and best in slot legendaries. So let's jump into these talents. Now I'm going to be covering the Zoo build. Um, this build is based around Dire Beast instead of Dire Frenzy. So the first talent we're going to be running with is Dire Stable. Now the reason I run Dire Stable is because the extra focus really helps with generating more kill commands as often as possible as well as getting as many cobra shots when I need to dump my focus. However, the strong option for single target in my opinion is the way of the cobra. It's really effective, um, especially for boss fights because you are going to be having a lot of dire stables up, and, or dire beasts, sorry, up as often as possible. But I prefer to run this because most of the time I am running mythic pluses rather than raids and such. So this is more of a stronger option for mythic pluses and bigger aoe fights because you are using multi-shot a lot and dire beasts as often as possible now let's run into level 30 talents i am personally running the zoo build as i said so the best option for that is stomp um, the reason for this is because you are using dire beasts so often and stomp hits everybody in the area so every time you have one up you cast it right away and you're just doing massive aoe to everybody it's a really strong option and it's a lot more manageable than dire frenzy is dire frenzy stacks up to three times which is something you have to manage a lot because it's most effective when you have three stacks if you have one or two it's not as strong so it's really based around trying to keep dire frenzy up this is why i'm running the zoo build and it's also based on your gear the gear i had was a lot better for the zoo build so I prefer to run the stomp now let's run into 45 now the two options here for 45 talents is post haste or trailblazer a lot of people run with the post haste for the movement impairing effect free and the um, movement speed increase for five seconds personally I run with trailblazer because I am running mythic plus and uh, we do have some downtime in between and you of course there is deaths throughout um, the dungeon so you are gonna have to run back to wherever and a good example for this is Karazhan uh, you always start at the start when you die you wipe you always have to run from the start so this is why I run with Trailblazer but the two are very good so it is personal choice here in my opinion now with the zoo build you are gonna be running with one with the pact it increases your um, wild call so Wild Call already has a cooldown. So this increases it by an extra 30%. So that's basically increasing it by a 50% chance to reset the cooldown on Dire Beast. But it's based on, um, Wild Call is based on your auto attack crits. So the more auto attack crits you have, the more Dire Beast you are gonna have available. But having it at the 50%, like Dire Beast is just popping off, especially if you have a higher crit chance. Now, if you are running um, with Dire Frenzy, Bestial Fury is going to be a better option. But some people do run the Stomp with Bestial Fury. But I just, I believe this is a lot stronger in my opinion. But Bestial Fury increases the damage of bonus of Bestial Wrath by 15%. So an extra 15% on top of Bestial Wrath is really strong for that 15 second duration. So it's really effective. But... If you are running the zoo build, I would recommend one with the pact. Now, level 75 talents, your go to option is usually binding shot. So, anytime the tank pulls the mobs through the binding shot, they're all stunned. But a lot of people I have seen have run Wyvern Sting for certain pulls. But most of the time, you're running a Mythic Plus, so binding shot's your better option. Now, 90 talents. Um, these two, Volley and Murder of Crows. Uh, a Murder of Crows is more of a single target. It's really effective for boss fights, but I also do use it for um, AoE pulls as well. So, But running Volley is most go-to option for everyone because your auto attack spend 3 focus to launch a Volley of extra 66k damage to everybody in the area so it's really effective for those aoe pulls personally i just run with murder of crows because i like to do a lot of damage on the boss fight but volley 
and Murder of Crows as your option. So you can play around with both and decide what you prefer. But if you are going for a bigger AoE, I would per personally tell you to go with Volley. Now, level 100 talents. Most of the time, almost 90% of the time, you are going to be running Killer Cobra. Detail Wrath's Act of Cobra Shot resets the cooldown of Kill Command. The reason why you're going to be running that is very obvious. Every time you Cobra Shot, Kill Command's up while you have Bestial Wrath active. So, this stacked with some haste, such as Lust, you are going to be doing insane amount of damage right off the bat. Um, spamming back to back for 15 seconds is insane damage. But, however, I have seen people run with Aspect of the Beast, but this is more of um, a, a talent used for a bigger AoE builds and stuff such. Um, mythic pluses but honestly killer cobra is always the winner in my opinion i just don't think this is as effective as killer cobra considering bestial wrath is on a 1.5 minute cooldown but with using the stomp build dire beast every time you cast it it re or reduces the cooldown of bestial wrath so you are going to be casting this a lot more often i have cast it within 20 seconds like back to back after one another so it is really effective and strong so this is just the basic overview of the talents um, now I'm just gonna cover the stats so stats for the zoo build typically you are gonna be running with uh, crit haste mastery versatility crit overall becomes stronger especially for the zoo build with higher crit means more dire beasts which increase overall DPS uh, mastery is the other close one you should pay close attention to it but keep in, line, keep in mind that this is just a baseline for the stats. Um, your gear is really dependent on your what options you would pick in terms of stats. Uh, it's really good option to sim your stats with a raid bot or something else, like some other site. Uh, it's really good to just test and simulate what is best for your um, class and what your gear is available for. So. This is just the basic talents and stats overview. Now I'm just going to jump into uh, single target rotation and AOE rotation. Okay, now that we are jumping into AOE rotation, we're gonna just start this off with um, just the basic AOE rotation for a two to four mobs. So the way it works is number one thing you wanna have up at all times is Beast Cleave. The reason you want to have Beast Cleave up is because um, your pet attacking will then cleave everyone else. So the way to activate that is multi-shot. So the, usually the first thing I would do is I'd multi-shot, I would kill command, and then I would, if I have two charges of Dire Beast, I would use them right away. And the biggest thing you want to try and maintain is Beast Cleave. It is really going to vary depending on the pull. Like you can use things like for such a bigger pull, I would Beast Seal Wrath first. I'd make sure both my dire beasts are active then i would titan's thunder and then i would maintain beast cleave for as long as possible while trying to get off kill commands as much as possible as well um you will not use cobra shot in most aoe pulls unless it's like two mobs so cobra shot is the only time you'd use it is if you are 90 plus focus which is not very often especially with aoe pulls so the rotation for a big um, let's say plus five group I would if I have all my cooldowns up I would be seal wrath make sure I have both my dire beast active if not at least one Titans Thunder um, multi shot so beast cleaves active and then a kill command is, uh, and just keep repeating that but always try to keep beast cleave up as much as possible otherwise your AoE is really gonna lack and you really won't be doing any AoE so Make sure you are keeping Beast Cleave up. I can't stress that enough. A lot of people don't know how to track it. That's why I do recommend weak auras. And uh, yeah, that's just a basic multi-target rotation. Now we're going to jump into single target. Okay, now that we are jumping into single target rotation, let's have a look at what we are going to start the fight off with. So first things first, if you are running a Murder of Crows, um, that's basically what you're going to start the fight open with. You're running the Stomp Zoo build. You will be doing Murder Crows, Bestial Wrath, 
kill commands, two dire beasts if they're both up at the same time, Titan's Thunder, and then Aspect of the Wild, and then maintain Cobra Shot, kill command, Cobra Shot, kill command, using dire beast on cooldown every time it's up. Make sure you do not cap it too. Um, make sure you're using them as often as possible too, uh, because you can waste um, extra DPS if you are not using them. They will cap it two charges, so make sure you are using them as often as possible. Especially with Lust, you will be having them come a lot more often. So make sure you are paying attention to that and getting them off as much as possible. But that's just the basic opener, and then after all your buffs are down, it's just the basic rotation of keeping up uh, Murder of Crows when it's off cooldown, using Bestial Wrath, uh, Titan's Thunder when you have the Dire Beast active, Aspect of the Wild on cooldown. But most of the time you won't be having to use m your bigger um, cooldowns on mythic bosses as much. It really does depend on the keystone. But as far as raid goes and everything else, just keep all of your cooldowns on cooldown. Um, and it's just a basic kill command cobra shot. Use your dire beast as often as possible. It's a very simple build. It's a very simple DPS spec. So um, yeah, that's just a basic overview of single target rotation. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna discuss the best legendaries for Beastmaster right now overall. Um, it is a sim data, so I could be wrong. It really depends on playstyle, but this is just a basic legendary guide from what I know to my understanding. I'm going to be going over, I believe I will cover four legendaries that I do believe are strong right now, but they've also been tested with um, simulation guide as well. So the first ones first is Roar of the Seven Lions. Um, it's nearly always the best pick. Um, it can be partnered with a lot of different legendaries, but Roar of the Seven Lions is really effective because Bestial Wrath reduces the focus cost of all your abilities by 15%. So you are going to be able to spam a lot more abilities while having Bestial Wrath active. And um, yeah, that's just one of the strongest ones thus far. Um, Safu's Secret is a, um, another good one. A nice second uh, to partner up with the Roar of the Seven Lions. Um, Overall, just increases your movement speed and haste by 25% for 10 seconds, which is really nice. And um, that's that can be up every almost every 30 seconds, so that's a really strong one. And then there's Parcel's Tongue. Cobra Shot increases damage done by you and your pet by 1% and reach by 2% for 8 seconds, and it stacks 4 times. Um, so this partner with the belt is really strong as well. Um, the ones that I have currently are Parcel's Tongue, and I do have the Shoulders, the Mantle of the Command. Um, I do believe the Mantle of the Command is pretty strong, but it's really dependent on the sim test that you run with your own character. But yeah, overall these are um, the most effective legendaries thus far. They have been tested through sims, and yeah, you can switch out a lot of the other talents, or... Um, other legendaries like the Kill Jaden's Burning Wish for bigger AoE pulls and other things. But overall, those four, I believe, are the top ones right now currently. So, but yeah, that's just the basic overview of the Beastmaster Hunter. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys want me to do next. Um, I will maybe be covering Marksman Hunter once I get some legendaries for them so I can fully test it myself. But, yeah. This is just the basic Beastmaster Hunter overview. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, peace out guys. Have a good one. Beware.